welcome back to my channel. Um, you're probably wondering why all this junk is sitting here. Um, I just got back from the Goodwill and or the Goodwill bins, which is the Goodwill outlet. It's where you pay a dollar thirty nine a pound for everything, um, except for electronics and um, large items. They will make deals on. So, got some really cool stuff. I found this really cool um, vintage paintbrush. I just love that it's red, white, and blue. Thought that was pretty cool. It's a really old paintbrush. I'll probably do something artistic with that or just hang it on my wall in my craft area. I found these really cool cards. Um, there's one that says Willow. These are kind of like um, oriental type cards, but there's some that are just blank, which are cool. I thought those would make good journaling spots. Um, there's a bunch that say Phoenix, which I thought would be cool for Harry Potter junk journals. Um, there's some that say Toad, which I thought would be cool. Um, some that say Unicorn. And, um, some that say Dragon. Now, there was a whole bunch of other cards, but I just picked out the ones that I want. So, there's, like, multiples of all of those. So, I thought those were pretty cool. Those would be good for some alternative junk journals. Then I found this little um, package of brads with flowers and sunshine and joy on them. I thought those are pretty cool. It's getting harder to find brads, especially locally. The scrapbook stores are going away and everything else is kind of closing down their scrapbook supplies. So um, I found this cute little um, castle, pink castle uh, armband thing, tassel thing. I don't know. I thought it would make a cute... Um, charm for kind of like a princess book or something maybe. Found this um, cool altered giant paper clip. Thought that would be cool to use for something. Um, let's see, I found some old baking papers. Um, really old baking papers. 1900s, 1920s. Um, some of my favorite good things to eat. There's um, And then there's some really old 1900s to 1920s um, things there and then there's some cool recipes in that and then this one is chafing dish cooking I thought the illustrations in that were pretty cool um, but yeah pretty cool to use to cook in the chafing dishes anyway so I thought those would cool be cool for some junk journals I found this really cool book it says mrs. Heman's um, Heman's poetical works I just thought that was really pretty font there and this book is just really old looking it has um, some gold edges on those pages I thought that was, that was a cool book and I found this book. This is collected poems of um, Sarah Teasdale, but it has a whole bunch of stuff tucked in the pages. Somebody's tucked in things and written in there, and there's some little notes and clippings. I love books like this that have stuff tucked into them. It's just like, yes! I love going through them and reading, and somebody took time to write down some things. So that's the kind of books I love to get. It's kind of like a little treasure hunt in its own pages. Um, I found this uh, antique... Um, it's like a little triangular piece of handmade lace. This is all hand sewn. All these little details are hand sewn. Um, some of it is tatting, like the edges is tatting. Um, I just thought the design on it was really pretty. It's like a little headscarf. Um, it's just really beautiful. It's black with those little designs and things on it. So I was like, yes, I'll take that. Um, I found this uh, bow, which is super crinkled up, but individually. Um, the ribbon is really cute, so I thought those would be cool to have for um, pieces for Christmas. This one says, um, Merry Christmas to you. And then, of course, then you've got the, the pretty um, 
gold holly sheer, which is so... I always like to pick up small pieces like this because, you know, a whole roll of ribbon is kind of expensive, and then I never use all of it, you know. So it's nice to have little pieces to use in different projects. So um, then I found this vintage rickrack, some really old rickrack. It's kind of like got that aged look to it. It's got, you know, I love stuff like that. Um, then I found tilt you up here. I found a Hufflepuff lunchbox uh, for my youngest. My youngest kiddo is a Hufflepuff, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's like brand new. Um, it's very, very good shape, so I went in and picked that up. I thought, yes. And it was kind of funny because in my head I was thinking, I want to go find some Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> and then I found this. I was like, yes! Score! So, and then I found two packages two packages of the um, Tattered Angels Irresistible Alphas. And what it is, is, um, I don't know if, okay, there you can kind of see it. But the edges of all these letters are printed, and but the centers are not. So when you spray or spray Tattered Angels mists or any kind of mists or you ink over it with like distress ink or whatever, the paper will change the right color, but the edge will still be white. So it kind of gives a cool effect. So that's going to be a fun thing there. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I love the font there. It's so, so cool. It's very um, Renaissance. It's called Rockin' Renaissance. So That'll be a fun font for doing any kind of Harry Potter journals or just different different things. So that'll be kind of cool. I love that. It's awesome. And then my coolest thing I found. I know you guys know I like typewriters. Um, so I'm just like, if I can get this open. Okay, I found another typewriter, you guys. <laughs> um very very good typewriter it needs needs some cleaning i don't have an this is an olympia i don't have an olympia but i mean it's very clean it's it's in good shape but i mean it needs the ink it's got ink here and there on it but um so yeah i'm kind of excited about this four dollars i cannot turn down a typewriter when it's only four dollars would you <laughs> so and it has its case which is obviously dirty and needs to be cleaned and like the vinyl is starting to shrink off of the wood but I, I don't care it's still a solid case and it's holding the typewriter very well but main thing is is that the typewriter is in there and it's in good shape uh, there's no keys missing all the keys work it just needs a little oil and cleaning and it should type like a dream just like my other ones so this is my fourth typewriter I may have a problem, you guys. Vintage typewriters and vintage sewing machines. Someday I will have a bigger place and I can set them all up and you'll be able to see my collection. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyway, alright. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys are having a good day, good week. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get back to my October Daily and get caught up. I haven't worked on it at all this week. My kid was out of school um, they canceled school because of there was a tornado actually in the next in the next town over, which is the town that my kid goes to school in. Um, and the he goes to the high school, but the elementary school was without power, and there was trees down and like a lot of things. And the, the elementary school is where they have their their internet system and their phone system, so the high school couldn't be in school. So. They had a couple of days, and there's a lot of cleanup being done, and um, so yeah, we had kind of a disrupted week, but um, hopefully I'll get back at it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!